to my June favorites video. I have a lot of favorites today, so I guess I'll just dive right in. Alright, so the first favorite I have is this Maybelline New York Dream Fresh BB Cream. This is new as of this month, and I absolutely love it. I think it works really well, and, and I have pretty good skin sometimes. Like, I just like to use that when I don't need a lot. And then, next thing is this e.l.f. cream eyeliner. It's very good, and it really compares to, like, high-end. So, that is a good thing to have. Next thing is this Rimmel London Lash Ex Accelerator Endless. Or, Lash End. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't even know if this is in stores yet. It might be now. I got this from Influencer. But I got this for free for me to review, and it is amazing. And once it comes out in stores, you should try it. I don't know when that is, but it really works. Next thing is for my birch box. This is my L'Aqua and Company Lil Lip, Lip. And it's just a very nice color. I really love it. I, yeah, that, that's me. And, okay, so that was my makeup stuff. Just a few things. Now on to perfume. The first one is Paris Amore um, Fine Fragrance, Fragrance Mist, and I think it's so cute. I don't know if it's really like a winter scent, it's, it feels more summery, so now that it's summer, I'm loving it so much more. This is Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck, and when I first got it, I was a fan, but I wasn't like a giant fan, and now I'm a, I'm a fan again, like I kind of lost interest after a while, but... Now I like it again. I think it was just, I was obsessed with Juicy Couture, and that's what kind of threw me off. Yeah. Now on to nail polish. The first one that I really like wore a lot this month is um, Essie Raise Awareness. And it's just this cute kind of bubblegum pink color, and I, I, I just think it's really cute. It's this Color Club nail polish, and this is in London Calling. I have this on my nails right now, and... I got this in my birch box as well. I a lot of the things that are in my birch box are in the hair products. The first thing from my birch box is this love shampoo, which you probably saw. Next thing is the conditioner, the love conditioner, and then the love like oil. And this stuff is amazing, but full size is forty dollars, and I mean that's probably not that much, but I don't have much money to get air hair oil, so, oops, yeah. Next hair product is this Not True Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. It just works. I like it. Alright, so now on to body and like skin and face stuff. So the first thing is this uh, Real Healthiest Beautiful Multi-Peptide Serum, and this is like a spa that we have in our area. It's like only one. So you probably wouldn't be able to find this anywhere else. The first ingredient is seaweed extract. So that's pretty good for your face, I think. And I use this every night. And if you want to see a like nightly routine, show you like my skin routine at night, then like this video and leave a comment down below. Next is this 100% shea butter. And I use this so much, it's probably not good, like, well, it probably is, but I've kind of dug in there, and I use this on my hands and my feet and anywhere that's, like, really, like, on my elbows, anywhere that's really dry, and, and on my face. Next is this Burt's Bees Orange Essence Facial Cleanser, and this is almost out, like, it's really sad, there's only, like, this much left, but I really, really love this stuff, it just works wonders. Next is this... Olay Complete All Day UV Moisturizer with SPF 15. This will be in every, every, every video. I just love this stuff. I don't like using it at night because it has like SPF and I'm like, I don't need that at night. So, I don't know, like my mind just won't let me use it. Um, but, yeah. On to clothing. Um, first thing is this, you can't see me, this white skirt. This is from Forever 21. It has like, I don't know if you can see that, it's like a kind of floral design. It's so hard to explain, like I don't even know. I love the 
skirt so much. Yeah. And the next thing is from Kohl's. It is this white lace dress. And you probably might you might have seen me wear this. I keep doing that. You might have seen me wear this before, but I am fully obsessed with this thing. Like, I am trying not to wear it every day, but I'm really tempted to. It's just really nice lace, and I love it. So I got that from Kohl's. Then I have two pairs of shoes, which first are these, like, kind of loafer things. I really love them. They're, they're actually from Paris. My grandmother got them for me when she was there, and I just think they're really cute. These are really new. Like, I've only worn them, like, three times. But they are my new Kevs. Look at these things. They are beautiful. I don't know if you think they are, but I do. And I really like wearing them with a lace dress. I feel like Taylor Swift. That's why. Honestly, that's why. Now on to food. I, I picked out a lot of food favorites. Like, I just went in my fridge and I was like, what have I been loving this month? And I'm like, yeah, that. So the first thing is just baby spinach. I've been eating a lot of this. Next is... Just blueberries. Um, blueberries are really, really good for you, so I love those. And then peaches, I've been loving a lot. And then strawberries. And then, next thing is, as my friends at school would say it, San Pellegrino. We get like these in six packs and six pack, yeah. And so there's just like orange and lemon, and I love both of them equally. Tofu. So, this is kind of a weird favorite, like some people don't like tofu at all, but I do. Like when I was three years old, I used to just like eat raw tofu, like in, in little cubes. So, it kind of brings back memories, and I don't know, I really love it. Okay, next is kind of weird, you might have not heard of it, but it is just coconut oil, and it comes in like a jar, but it just looks like this. And it kind of looks like, like lotion or something. And it's really delicious and very good for you. So that's good. And the last, but definitely, definitely, definitely not least of the food, um, is just this Faye fa fa Total Zero um, All Natural Non Fat Greek Strained Yogurt. Guys, this stuff is amazing. Like, seriously? Amazing. So first of all, I'm planning on going to Playlist Live, hopefully. So I've been like searching up on all the people that are going because I don't, I'm not aware of all of them. And so I kind of got really, really excited when I found this one person. And that person was Joey Graceffa. If you don't know who he is, he's amazing. And so I just saw him on there. I'm like, oh, I think I've seen him before, but I don't know much about him. So I just go to watch his videos, and then I see this video, and it's like Amazing Race, you know, like recap. And I'm like, what? And then I watch it, and I'm like, oh my god, that's the amazing YouTuber guy that was on Amazing Race. Like, because me and my mom watched Amazing Race, she really loves it. And I kind of freaked out when I saw a YouTuber on there. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. I, I didn't even know who he was, but he would, he was a YouTuber, so that was cool. Um, but that was probably my favorite this month. And then, like, of course, Tyler Oakley and Jack Scapp and all those people. Um, Casper Lee, guys, um, Marcus Butler, you know, all those people. They're all amazing, and... Yeah, you probably already know of all of them, so I don't even know why I'm saying them in my favorites video, but they are my favorites. So YouTube, in general, is a favorite. For Netflix, just like TV in general, Pretty Little Liars, not, not on Netflix, but like on TV, is my, to my total favorite. And then on Netflix, I've kind of come, I've come across um, Greek, and if you haven't heard of that, it's just a really fun show, and it's pretty cool, so you should watch it. For music... I have been thoroughly obsessed with Demi Lovato. I love her. I've just kind of fallen in love with her album and everything about her. And also Ed Sheeran. So Demi Lovato and Ed Sheeran, love them. You should check them out if you don't know who they are. I, I doubt that you don't, but you know. Okay, so that was pretty much all of my favorites. Sorry there was a lot. So pretty much just do anything you would like to down there except for thumbs down my video. See ya!